Hey, welcome back everybody. I'm so excited that we have Back 40 Ranch House Grill in studio. They're located in Heber Valley and I have been wanting to come and visit you guys because I've heard so many good things. So thank you for coming to me. Thanks for having us. Love having it. We've got Mario. He's the executive chef over there and Gary. He's the owner. Now you guys are farm to table and you're making Mario's famous meatloaf today, right? That is correct. Yeah, it's, uh, we use uh, we buy whole local cows right out of the backfields. Oh my gosh! And we talk about local, right? Yes, we incorporate yeah. all of our beef needs through that. So the menu is generated to to make that happen. So we, our okay. our meatballs, our meatloaf, our chili, all of our hamburgers, our steaks, our prime cuts, all come from these local cows. I love it. Well, let's get going on the recipe, and then we'll talk a little bit more about your okay. restaurant as well. So now, you're Mario. You're giving the recipe out. Yep. Yeah, he is. All right. So what do we need for it, Gary? First, we're starting off. We have uh, two cups of chopped onions and garlic, okay. um, about a quarter cup to the two cups that's mm -hmm. in there. Right. We have two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce mm -hmm. that he's putting in, Okay. half a cup of parsley, half a cup of Parmesan cheese, two cups of breadcrumbs right there. And how much would this feed about? You think if this were right it here home? will make this loaf pan right here. So this this will probably make two of these loaf pans. Okay, actually, right we we make it in a lot larger okay. batches, of course. Uh, tablespoon of salt. Perfect. Two tablespoons of pepper. Got some good spices and everything Another going in there. Another half a cup of milk. Mm -hmm. And then three eggs. And and most meat meatloafs are tomato based. They so have a lot of tomato right. sauce in them. This one is more of a mushroom base with the mushroom gravy that we make it with. So it's very hearty. It's very hearty. It's just a little different. It's Mario's, you know, he's is giving out his recipe and um, Mario, you're the best. Yeah. Thank you. We we sell quite a few meatloafs on now, a busy night. It, do you do this for dinner, brunch? What I mean. This is on our dinner, dinner menus. Dinner menu? Yes. So okay. we have a little bit different dinner menu than our, our lunch menu. We do have brunch on Sundays, which is a completely different thing. Egg, okay. Eggs Benedicts, omelets, you know, more of that breakfast style menu. But All that stuff. Like we do our, we have our prime rib. And so in um, this, we're looking at pictures right now. Yes, I mean, that's the yurt that we beautiful. put up on the deck in the winter time. That's the Look views right views. out of the dining room, right there. Oh my gosh! That's off the the patio, which is where the yurt is on right now in the summertime. And yes. you're off of you're right on Highway 40 as you're going into Heber. You are right before you get into town. If you remember the old bar that used to be there, the other end, that's where they are. So they've taken over that spot. You've got those amazing views, and your deck right there. You cover it with the yurt on those cold days or Correct. The winter days, Yeah, we right? put it up in the fall and we take it down in the springtime. Perfect. And we're getting ready to take it down. So now, they could so. do yurt dining right now. Yes, yurt dining. We're open the yurt seven nights a week. It's open all day on the weekends. Okay. Saturday, Sunday. So yurt okay. dining, but you also, they can be inside the restaurant too. Yes, that's yes, more they can be style. inside. It's a lot quieter in that mm -hmm. yurt because the sounds are a lot harder in the oh, restaurant, yeah. it's, especially mm -hmm. when it's really busy. So people, we put it up to get some overflow seating and it's become a destination. People Absolutely. request the yurt because it, it's quiet, mm -hmm. it's nicer, more intimate when you come in. So I've done yurt dining before and it is such a fun experience. If you've never done it, I highly recommend it. So, okay, so obviously, Mario, you're just mixing you're it all together. Yes, yeah, mix it all, everything together. And then is it ready to go after that? Yep. Put in the pan. Okay, so it'll go in the pan after that, and then as far as gravy and the toppings after that. So this is how we serve it in the restaurant. We have our mm -hmm. mushroom gravy there, which is a mm -hmm. beef base, okay. mushrooms, got a little cream, so it's mm -hmm. a cream mushroom gravy okay. that we top it with. We serve it on mashed potatoes, which mm -hmm. we also make every day, little Parmesan mashed potatoes, okay. and then our mixed veggies, which is the corn, peas, and red peppers. Love it. And so that's you, how we plate it at the restaurant. When you put that into the oven, how, how long should we bake it for? How long, Mario? It's like one hour for 350. Okay, so one hour for 350. Yep. And then why don't we plate up the finished product? So you'll pop that into the oven, and then we'll show you the finished product over here. Mario's got a plate for us ready to go. Looking good. All right, so Mario, let me grab this plate, and we'll just show them the finished product right there. So if you want to go to the Back 40 Ranch House Grill in Heber, definitely check it out. May, if you live in the valley and you're thinking, oh, it's a little bit harder to get up there, plan it for either the day or do a little staycation. I love going up to me Midway in Heber and just staying for a day or two. So it's great. Give them your address though if they want to find you. We are at 1223 North Highway 40, like you said, just on the oh, right yeah, side before you, you go into, Sorry. on the right <laughs> side of the road before you go into Heber on the west side. And you can also find us at www.back40utah.com. I love it. All right. Well, you guys, thank you so much and for giving out your recipe. We appreciate it. Go check them out.